Well, hello guys. Hello. I'm back. Uh, welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. Uh, I'm, uh, I always say this guy, but, uh, you know, it's great to be here uh, reading for you again today. Oh, we've got lots of subjects. We've got lots of subjects. Uh, uh, I'm going to see if, uh, you know, I can get a, a few done uh, today. Um, so where are we? Where are we? Oh, yeah. Uh, just uh, bef before anything, uh, serious note, OK? Well, um, me and my husband have been receiving loads of texts and phone calls uh, from scammers. And they're working in various ways, uh, like the post office for your postage, you have to ring this number. Or, oh, you've been, uh, you know, the, the, you're uh, being investigated for fraud by the uh, HMRC, which is, uh, you know, our tax uh, people in the UK. Uh, Netflix, you know, somebody's logged into your account. Uh, Amazon, uh, you know, somebody's placed an order, is this you? You know, it's all, all stuff like that on HSBC. So, I don't know. I bought some furniture uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I don't know if they've sold me information or what, but we're on these hit lists. Now, the reason I'm bringing it up is because uh, I've been worked for the uh, Fraud Department and Benefits Agency uh, a few years back. Um, you know, we're quite aware of all these scams and I'm quite aware that, you know, technology is used. It's very sophisticated. Uh, you know, the scams get better and better. So I don't want uh, any of you to be, uh, you know, just don't. The best advice is if you get anything uh, like those things and there can be others, you know what I mean? Uh, always, always type in. Uh, so if it's about postage, you'd put the post off, you know, post postage scam type it in and google it and it will come out with a, a, a list i mean I, I really honest to god it's uh so so scary how convincing they are uh, and it happened to my husband's dad uh my son oh my god he nearly handed over his bank details for some you know because he was frightened to death he's only 22 uh you know and thinking the uh, tax people was after you. He was, he was scared to death. And that's what they do. They uh, go on for you, you know, or we couldn't could del deliver your parcel today, you know. So just be ever, ever so careful and always, uh, you know, type what it is in. Uh, if it's HMRC, HMRC scam. You know, if it's post office, post office scam. You know, Amazon scam. Ne there is a scam everywhere now, okay. Uh, and the, I just found that, all three of us have been targeted, you know, similar, all at the same time. So they must be going off uh, information uh, because they won't have my address, his address, and my son's address. I would the blood in her. But yeah, so it is a, uh, it's quite a, uh, it's very serious. So please never, ever, uh, you know, just don't even bother and don't ever click on the websites. Don't press one, don't do this, don't do that. You know, just put the phone down and check it out for yourself. Okay, so, uh, ooh, talking of scammers, <gasps> oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, recollections may vary, oh, my word, oh, my uh, word. So we're going to uh, look into this from the uh, the producer's, uh, you know, kind of uh, view. Let, let, let's just see, let's just see what comes of it. I think it's going to be interesting. Um, and, well... Uh, I just, you know, we're going to have to look deep in this one. Absolutely deep, I think. Okay. Uh, that's the energy I'm feeling anyway. So, okay then. So, without further ado, recollections may vary. Oh, my God. Okay. So, uh, you know, what, how was this uh, bloody... How has this bloody programme come to light so quick? You know, who's behind? That's it. Who's behind it? Who's behind it? Who's behind this programme? Okay, so uh, I'm getting a like a think tank, so a group of people. So a group of people have sat around the table uh, and they've gone, yeah, wow, well, all right, we'll do this. Well, they're seeing it as an opportunity uh, and they're absolutely getting ready for it to go out tonight. They can't wait. They think it's something big, uh, you know, uh, and they want everybody else to go, wow, wow. 
uh you know and they've got everything they need they've got all their information uh you know they've been given everything so uh, i reckon oprah's uh stuff is going to seep into it at some point uh you know that'll be been uh, set i just feel like uh you know this is something to do with the sussexes i don't think this is a uh, because they've been given this opportunity so it's not that they've taken and created an opportunity okay they've been given an opportunity uh, and uh, they just feel like they can't you know they just cannot uh it's going to be gold again it's going to be gold you know but i don't think it's going to be as popular as the oprah one because it hasn't had that much uh take but you know it is something that is uh they think is uh, a big deal and that's the uh you know the the actual whoever are producing this uh so they've been given the opportunity please show me who gave them it who gave them this opportunity well it's negative so i bet it's the sussex yeah oh look at that uh doesn't want to look bad in front of others so she's not gonna megan's not gonna come out and say you know erin harry uh of giving it their blessing do you know what i mean they're not uh but they've refused to listen to others i think oprah is uh, now really starting to get pissed off uh because you know there's a lot of anger there so uh and megan's still angry and really pissed off you know uh, but this has been uh, going on for a few weeks, you know, so uh, even before the death, I mean, absolute, absolute, just, it kills me off this, kills me off. Uh, all these feelings, it's terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, she's just so evil, isn't she? She's spiteful, she's vindictive, uh, she's not going to uh, admit that she's behind it, but I'm telling you, she is, she is, and she's the devil incarnate, honestly, uh, you know. I know we should all, uh, you know, give everybody a chance uh over and over again but i just don't you know this woman i just honest to god i find myself uh sometimes wishing uh bad things on her <laughs> uh i don't you know i just she's just damaging she's just damaging uh believe me uh the, because this is uh megan's uh you know doing uh it's gonna have megan's script uh you know uh it's gonna all megan can do is rehash old information like uh like diana's jewelry uh you know why harry's friends won't speak out you know she's just she's just uh creating and and, and messing with the the truths all the time do you know what i mean so uh she, she's one of them she gets the idea i mean you probably got one one percent element that is uh true but you know she's uh she is so angry because she can't have the attention that uh, she wants you know and i tell you now she is well well pissed off about the attention kate has got but you know uh we'll have a look at the media uh thing uh another time but i do feel you know she felt snubbed she felt absolutely uh snubbed you know but then she saw it as power <laughs> they won't touch me they're not allowed this that and you but that's not what megan wanted you know so with megan she's like final destination kind of you know she'll go from one thing to another to another to another and uh she just leaves little bombs off you know going off all over the place <coughs> this woman's running out of uh of things you know there's no i mean all right the fu funeral is uh new material to give to megan no doubt which she will wallow in and uh you know in her own spiteful way uh, uh put across but you know i think the smack of uh desperation uh they know they can't sustain this forever i mean it's just been like a two-year holiday for them it really has you know uh uh just really strange as well how they go through people so quickly I mean, you're looking at, uh, who was we looking at? Well, what, Adele with uh, Harry backed off. Uh, David Beckham backed off. I mean, why is she rehashing that? I mean, you know, is she having another go at uh, uh, Victoria because uh, uh, about the wedding? Oh, yeah, that'll be in it. So Megan is pissed off. Ah, that's it. Megan is pissed off with uh, the Beckhams because uh, they don't want to be put in a situation uh you know where they have to choose um 
so there's something gone off do you know we'll have to look into that won't we? that's quite interesting but yeah uh, so yeah that's what i'm getting she's getting you know she is she's uh she's giving you she's giving the evils you know she's like the smiling assassin uh as my nan would say you know smiling assassin uh, you know, she's looking at you, talking to you like she really, really likes you. Uh, and beyond, she's working everything against you. So, yes, it was her. So, um, do, do, do. I'm trying to think whether I go for Megan or the company. So, Okay, what obstacles do they, uh, or challenges, uh, have this uh, crew uh, experienced? Because are you really good, you know, you're getting, what are you getting? A load of body language experts. I mean, oh my God. It's like sand writing, you know, it is, it's like sand writing for the blind. Oh my God. Anyway, so uh, what obstacles or challenges has this company faced uh, regarding uh, Megan wanting this program? She wants it all positive. Yeah, she's in control. She's uh, saying, uh, you know, she's dictated. Uh, you know, you've got the tower. Uh, you've got a bloody shock and all as well. You know, it's like uh, something else that's going to set it on fire. Uh, you know, like on the media. It's just going to be everywhere. Um, and so, yeah, so their, their biggest challenge is that Megan wants control. Um, and they also fear as well, uh, you know, uh, Megan, she seemingly touches something that is going to pay off. And then everybody around her, uh, you know, gets <laughs> get, gets the shit, basically, you know. And she has done that. She's done it with the uh, coffee people and they got shit. She's done it with Oprah and now Oprah's got shit. You know, she she's done it with uh, uh, a lot of people. So, yeah, they're just uh, frigging hell. She wants it out quick. Uh, she's got a few uh, stuff that she's gonna uh, she's gonna lob a grenade or so. Um, I do see her rewriting uh, history. You know, uh, feeling that they was forced out of the royal family. That's what they wanted. You know, uh, yeah, forced out. They ran. They ran. That they jumped and ran. This is all Megan. This is all Megan. This is shit. This is absolute shit. Honest to God. There's a bomb going off there. There's a, 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 a bomb. Okay. Uh, so we know why. Right, okay. Um, why does Megan uh, want to do this? Why is Megan uh, wanting to do this? So, you know, what's the root of it? What's What is it all about, Megan? Because she knows what he's doing, you know, and it's Harry as well. It's Harry as well, uh, you know. Uh, Harry's a moldy bugger, uh, but, you know, he does know what he's doing and she does as well. And I think it's because it's all to do with emotions, you know. Uh, you see, I, I just get Harry going back crying that he's the victim, you know. And so she, she feels like she's standing up for it. So maybe uh, some stuff's going to come out uh, uh, about the uh, funeral uh, and how he was ignored and this, that and the other, uh, you know. Yeah, I just feel like uh, she, she exactly, she, it's uh, about Harry. I'm surprised, Megan. You never do anything for anybody else usually. Uh, but in her own way, yeah, she feels it's for, for Harry. Um, and, you know, she feels strongly. She feels strongly. Uh, and she's also, uh, she's going to get rid of some of that emotion. Uh, yes, yeah, she is. She's pent up with her uh, negative emotions and she needs to uh, re release them. And unfortunately, she thinks when lashing out at people and causing them uh, problems or pain or heartache or whatever, uh, that's how she feels uh, that she's able uh, to uh, release her emotions. So she's going to, you know, she, she weaponizes uh, her, yeah, she weaponizes her own emotions.
you know so so let's have a look then uh where is he so we know what he's doing he knows what he's doing he's quite in it as well he's told her everything you know uh to be fair i'm seeing him not taking too much responsibility uh for this uh I, you know she's I think she's uh she's mis she's she's made she's made a mistake. These are her uh, feelings, you know. This is like obviously uh, her illness, but like she's believing. I can see that she's believing uh, and interpreting, and then uh, being really uh, pleased, uh, you know, that this information is distorted this way, so that she can tell the truth because it was harry who told her you know uh, and what she witnessed and what she didn't witness okay so uh you know what what has brought us uh you know what's gone on in the past uh that she would want to do with this the funeral the funeral oh you just can't make it up can you you just can't make it up oh my god the funeral and she's uh got a dark mind and she's ill you know she's got a personality disorder uh you know she's uh she's awful she is uh, awful uh you won't change this woman do you know what as well right uh quite a few women with personality disorders have uh turned out to murder the kids uh to punish their husbands uh and uh, although I can't wait to go into, uh, what is it, that uh, di diplomacy, diplomatic community, <laughs> well played. Uh, yeah, so the only way to, uh, is to take him out. But yeah, so uh, the funeral, well pissed off. Uh, she's, uh, you know, uh, she's going to talk about the funeral uh, as well. Uh, they're going to do body language on Harry, uh, you know, she's putting... Look, this woman has practically uh, written uh, the script uh, for, for this. Believe me, it is not going down uh, well at all. And I did say it gets worse. It does. And it gets even more worse. It really, really does. And it has to. Because right now, things can't change. Give them enough rope and they'll hang themselves. what is the future uh regarding this uh you know this bloody bloody uh assassination video you know movie whatever it is uh you know what what is the future of it oh do you know what the royal family are back in the royal family are back in. The, the, you know, there was never out really, but they have been getting a lot of uh, crap, aren't they? Uh, so, you know, I, I just see a uh, loving family. And, you know, uh, I think if they go after William and Kate uh, again, you know, uh, the, you can't do damage to, to these because they're all behaving uh, wonderfully, amazingly, uh, you know, honourably. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're just... Uh, you're dealing with a psychopath and... Honest to God, how many times, uh, Megan, do you want to tell your tale? You know, uh, you, you're just rehashing it. And that book, uh, don't worry, guys, that book is an absolute fail. An absolute fail. They must be desperate for money because you're selling your knickers, basically. You know, uh, I, I tell you, it's, uh, it's, it's not good. They're getting desperate. So, uh, you know, as well, uh, the future, you know, are they, are they going to say that they want back in? You know, that they wish they could be uh, with the royal family again. I'm telling you now, right, I, I don't know families that have uh, welcomed back psychopaths, but they never trust them. They stay out of the way. They avoid them, you know, in, in any uh, given situation. So uh, it can't happen. It cannot happen. So, uh, and are they going to come out and say that, you know, they've got stability and they're happy now and this, that and the other, you know. So I've got like three families here. I've got their family, Meghan and Harry's. I've got uh, the royal family uh, and I've got William and Kate's family. Meghan offered out an olive branch. As if, as if, as if.
I'll tell you what, if they go where the funeral is, oh my God, it will finish them off. I mean, are they, you know, they're just crazy. How can you not see this? I don't work in marketing, uh, you know, but anybody can see uh, there's better ways uh, of doing things. Oh, that's another thing. Just seconds uh, for a moment. The bloody queen. Didn't I always said that Megan wants the queen in court? It was uh, like, I don't know, September to uh, January probably. Uh, I've always said that she uh, wanted <clears throat> to uh, face take the queen on because taking the queen on uh, means she gets uh, as, much, uh, as much attention as our queen, you know, and it's true. And this is what she's doing, you know, when I said uh, about a court or, you know, in the same table or this and other, what I mean is what she's doing now, you know, uh, she is, uh, she's going to use the Queen's popularity uh, to to make it so Megan thinks she can do this and the other. But, you know, I don't know why people can't see how crazy she is. And I mean, really, you know, what qualifications has that stupid woman got? Uh, to, to, she can't even run her own bath, never mind the bloody country. Anyway, anyway, OK. Uh, what is going to be the uh, attitude of the public uh, regarding this uh, bloody sham of a video again? Programme. Uh, I, I'm going to say uh, Kate, they love Kate and they love the Queen. So I'm going to say these two rock, you know, silence is golden. Silence is golden. That's what they're telling me. Silence is golden. You know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, Kate is uh, beautiful. Uh, you know, she is shining, isn't she? She's just shining. Uh, but her relationship with William is, uh, you know, 100% true. It is 100% uh, true. It's true love, you know. And I know when it comes to royal marriages, uh, you know, uh, I was just thinking of uh, Charles and Diana. But when, when uh, yeah, you go back over the years and it wasn't always about uh, love, it was about suitability and you found love later. So, yeah, uh, the, she, you know, I think uh, we're all going to stick up for uh, Kate and we're all going to, you know, we love our Queen and they cannot change that, you know. Megan might uh, think she's uh, a, a superstar, um, you know, go be a superstar somewhere else then, love, because we're not interested, you know, even the papers are clamping down on you. We're all starting to see you uh, for what you really, really are, you know. She brought out Archie the gold. She brought out Archie uh, the gold. And then, well, by your own hands, no one can take a picture. No one. Uh, there's a law in California. Uh, the newspapers won't go anywhere near it. So they're respecting uh, Megan's wishes. And she's not going to get packed with Archie. So believe me, she won't be getting him out for a while because it's pointless, isn't it? It's pointless. Oh, okay. Uh, so, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. How are, how are the Queen, uh, how is the Queen going to cope with yet yeah, this uh, another programme? Not good. I certainly feel like she'll feel like uh, there's a lot of information uh, going to this programme than is. So, you know, she's going to see that it's not balanced. It's another, uh, you know, it's not balanced and it's trying to cost the, the royal family. Um, so, you know, I, I think... Uh, I don't know whether it's staff, advisors, but, you know, I think, like, if they're running the, the royal family, if it's a business, uh, then I think people or staff, uh, you know, are going to... Uh, it's not much, but I think they've got no choice. I also see that, yeah, the Queen feels she's got no choice uh, in the matter, uh, no say, and she's not going to uh, comment, you know. But I think, uh, you know, she can see that definitely... Uh, all the, all the media stuff that's coming out is via Megan's hand. So if it's been said once in the newspaper, now it can be said uh, without being validated. Then now it can be said, you know, to go out to the, uh, 
like on TV, you know. So that's what Megan does. She tests something and then she, uh, if there's no problem, then she does it again. So, yeah, I just feel like, uh, you know, for frigging hell, this is going to cost the Queen again, you know. But it's not my darling because uh, we are all behind you, okay? Absolutely all behind you. Uh, I also feel like, uh, you know, she knows uh, Megan has been spending uh, money. Uh, so there is money as well. I think, you know, I've said before about this money. There's something to do with money and it looks like it's costing the royal family. Okay. Uh, that, that's what I get. Okay. Uh, so what does... Uh, what does Megan hope for? Right, okay. Uh, first of all, she's hoping that she makes a profit, you know, she gets paid, so she wants it to be uh, successful. Uh, she's also got uh, Omid Scooby, uh, who's, uh, you know, going to be mentioned for uh, the book again, uh, rewriting uh, history. I mean, oh my God, I've, I've already mentioned him, haven't you? but oh dear me. Uh, and uh, there's uh, something else as well, maybe uh, Harry is doing something where money's concerned. So these are all like uh, offers that she wants coming in, um, and also as well, she she uh, she wants to send a message to William, and she really does. She wants to send a message uh, to to William, and it's like as if to say, it's It's like she's still there, even though she's not there, okay? Uh, that's what I'm feeling. It's, she's still there, even though she's not there. Uh, so her presence, uh, maybe, uh, can be wasted. But, you know, <sighs> she going against William, uh, I think she feels she wants to... She just keeps provoking and provoking and provoking. Uh, like I say, doing things nice and playing by the rules uh, does not get you... Uh, the attention that you've got at the moment but it will start waning it will but yeah she uh she she ups uh you know william gets real pissed off and goes what's that or rings his brother uh you know because i don't think uh william has responded you can't can you you can't with these idiots you know but she does want a, a physical or like a, a a conversation uh over the phone But yeah, she 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 wants loads of money again, you know, loads of money. How much are the pain of this time, you know? Okay, what's uh, Megan's fears uh, regarding this program? Right, right. Basically, you know that she fears that it fails. You know, uh, she feels that. Can this be done? You know, she feels a false sense of security. So she thinks she's untouchable, but really uh, she is. Uh, and I think she denies, uh, you know, an underlying truth. These are truths that people don't want to hear, you know. Uh, like, Megan, you've got a personality disorder. You need to go into therapy, you know, uh, th because that's what's underlying. You know, that's the, the root of all of this uh, is that personality disorder um and you know and i think she's uh she just deceives uh, herself you know she doesn't see what others see uh she sees a different version you know uh of herself and hence why so much uh victimhood status would give her you know she is she's just a, a victim she's a, she needs help uh but you know would anyone dare say it to her I mean, do you know what? If I read that, thousands of people thought I was narcissistic and uh, uh, personality disorder, right? I'd be the first one checking the symptoms, you know. I would. Uh, so she's not looking at herself. Uh, she can't. She can't. And do you know what? If there ever comes a day when this woman goes uh, in for treatment, uh, you know, uh, it takes a lot of work to, you know, basically a personality disorder to me <laughs> means you're a bit of an arsehole, you know. <laughs> You've very difficult to deal with, very complex, and uh, you see things from a warped uh, perspective. Uh, and so all that needs taken care of. But uh, right now, she's just kidding herself, you know. She's And it is, it's delusional. She's delusional. 
Okay, this is a good bit then. So, uh, three cards. What is going to be the outcome, please? What is going to be the outcome uh, for the royal family regarding this bloody film? Yeah, well, uh, you know, any chance of reconciliation is uh, long over. Uh, there's going to be talk of, uh, you know, somebody be, uh, breaking partnerships and no longer being together. Uh, you know, they can't commit uh, to, to each other. Um, and it's also like a disagreement as well. So it's probably around uh, the family side, OK, because I see uh, like a two of cups is the um, just emotional. Uh, it is. It's emotions upside down. So somebody's taking umbridge, somebody's going to take umbridge. Yeah, I mean, and now it's been seen, uh, you know, that it's coming, that they Meghan and Harry are, are never happy. You've got the Four of Cups. Meghan and Harry are never happy uh, with uh, anything, are they, you know? Uh, I think it's clear uh, that they need to seek help and uh, deal with their feelings. So you, you might feel uh, that, they do seek help from uh, outside, you know, or yeah, I'm seeing somebody definitely needing uh, counselling or, you know, some therapy of sorts. And when Megan, uh, you know, I think as well the press are going to say, oh, Megan's not happy, so the shit hits the, the royal family, you know, for, like a grenade or a bomb over there, you know, keep doing this to a bloody widow, you know, 95 year old woman who was a widow. Uh, you know, only just, I mean, he's not even turned in his grave yet, you know, uh, and they're, they're like that. They are despi despicable. Yeah, I, I think uh, I can see uh, Megan going. She has to go. Uh, she has to, to, to go. Um, it's Megan who is causing all the unhappiness. Uh, Megan is going to be revealed uh, as needing to uh, deal with her feelings. Um, is she going to say, oh, because oh, she said, didn't she, oh, I forgive? Oh. <laughs> I got two words there and not very nice. So, you know, uh, I don't think so. But, you know, she's, uh, I'm getting, since leaving the royal family, she's been continually uh, unhappy. Uh, and she has been trying everything to make things work. You know, she's put out the hand, she's sent him a letter, uh, you know, uh, She's even copied uh, Diana's jewellery uh, to, to get attention. Oh, I mean, oh, my God. Uh, especially where that tiara is. There's something, there's a story around there because I'm seeing it. Uh, so I don't know if it was fake, you know. Can you imagine that if it was announced that it was fake? <gasps> she would be well pissed off. <laughs> I'd let her wear it and take her head off. No, only joking. Um, so you know, yeah, I think uh, that's it. That there's just never any going back with uh, Meghan. Uh, well, the royal family decide to uh, you know rid of Meghan Markle altogether, please. I think they're uh, not, you know, you've got the Five of Cups. Uh, I think they're not going to uh, give in to her, you know. They're not going to waste uh, their time. I think they're just going to pretend or, you know, acknowledge the thing doesn't even exist or that it's so normal you don't have to talk about it. Uh, so, the, no, she, she, they wasted their time dealing with uh, Megan, okay. They're absolutely uh, wasting their time. So, they're refusing to waste their time. They're refusing uh, to become... Uh, you know, emotional, uh, like William, you know, he wants to, to pop the lid on certain stuff, but, you know, they're, they're going to, they're thinking, look, what's the point? It's out of our hands, you know, it is, everything is out of their hands, isn't it? so they're not going to uh, waste any uh, time and they're not going to give her any, uh, you know, they're not going to give her any ma new material. They're not. She's had what she's got and that's it. And if Harry coming back all the time just means that they're going to end up back in the press and getting slaughtered for things, uh, you know, they'll avoid him as well. What a spoilt little brat. Right, one more. What does William know uh, that we do about this programme?
Well, I can see, uh, you know, he's feeling confident. He's feeling, uh, com he's confident. He is. He's absolutely uh, confident. Uh, I think him and his missus, you know, she, Kate, she works. She's a family woman. She, you know, she gets down and dirty on the field. <sighs> I'm joking. I meant that with uh, sheep, actually. So not as it sounded. Uh, so, yeah, you know, she uh, she does. She's she's good at all things. So uh, uh, Megan just looks... Megan makes Kate look uh, good, you know. It's like, a, you know, Megan has her way of sp stealing the uh, thunder. But in actual fact, the more Megan uh, tries to, you know, have a go... Uh... I see Sarah Ferguson as well. She's very outspoken. I think she's going to come out and uh, say something. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah... I see uh, every time she, Megan slags Kate off, she just makes Kate look even uh, more wonderful, you know. Uh, so, yeah, he's, uh, he's confident in himself. He's quite happy as well. Uh, they're going about, they're doing their work, um, and that's what they're focused on, you know, the family and work, and, uh, you know, who can ask for more? But this woman is not uh, Megan Markle. She's not. She's uh, It's Sarah Ferguson, I think. I wonder if Eugenie is uh, passing information along. Somebody's feeding. Somebody's feeding. Okay, so, uh, well, we'll just have to wait and see. It's on tonight, so I'm going to go uh, and uh, put this video on. It's uh, been wonderful uh, to read for you again. And I'll be back shortly with another video, okay? All right, guys. Bye now. Bye-bye.